India and America are located on opposite sides of the globe. So there's no surprise when we talk about the differences between living in the two countries. From fashion to culture, even electrical, when light switches work the opposite way. Here's our list of most noteworthy differences between America and India. First major difference is language. India is made up of many states, and each state speaks its very own language. So most Indians are raised learning and speaking English, Hindi, and the state language that they're born in. Tawin actually speaks four languages. The reason for that is my mother tongue is different than the state I was born in. My mother tongue is Malayalam, while the state I was born in Marathi. Actually, quite a few people do tend to speak four or more languages. That's a neat trick we have. <laughs> All right, let me try. May Hindi seek Rehihud. Work-life balance is the next one. In India, life kind of revolves around work. Here, I'm out of the office at five, leaving plenty of time for friends and family. <laughs> and me. The good part about India is tons of vacation days, having so many religions. We can have lots of festivals and days we can spend off. In America, we have Christmas, Easter, Thanksgiving. We, we got Diwali, Dasara, Holi, Mahashivratri, Ganesh Chaturthi, Onam. That just tends to be better. Americans love to smile and wave at all of those passerbys, if we know them or not. In India, you tend to overt eye contact. Yeah, we don't smile at literally everyone. Hey, how are you doing? Yeah, I'm kind of hungry. Am I supposed to say that a lot? No, we the, just mean, how are you? The thing is, if you smile at every stranger in India, you'll be pretty tired by the end of the day. <laughs> the next one is a little iffy. It's kind of embarrassing. It's toilet paper. As in, you don't use it? No. I also like to use water though. It's kind of weird to just use paper. <laughs> also in India, we sometimes have squatty potty. They kind of look awkward, but trust me, biologically, that's the better way to do it. Speaking of biology, our next one is medical expenses. It's no surprise that a root canal can cost upwards of $1,000. Whereas, I got a $50 root canal and it survived over 15 years with me. Our dentist was pretty jealous when he heard about that. Yeah, you could actually fly to India, get a root canal and fly back here. Probably cost you the same amount. Well, this one's a bit heavy, it's equality. I believe America tends to treat people more equally when it comes to people from different states, skin colors, sexual preferences, the occupations that they do. I'd give Americans a bit of an edge. Our next difference is Tolan's favorite, restaurant culture. Because in America, you get refills on your fast food sodas. That was exciting news when we first moved in. Like, whoa, this McDonald's is cool. We can refill our Coke as much as we want. That was exciting news. But with the good also comes the different, which is tipping. I hate tipping. But he does. <laughs> I have to. To be honest, 15%? 20 20 See, is it before tax, after tax? Before tax. You see the number of rules there are and the core rule that you're supposed to tip if you like the service, that's not followed at all. I'm kind of forced to tip. Yeah, we kind of tip out of fear because if we don't tip, we'll be good. We'll get worse service. Okay, you caught us. Our next one is PDA, which is not so accepted in India. I don't want to get kicked out of my family, you know. Telwin warned me quite heavily to keep my hands off of him while his parents were in town. The biggest difference you'll notice the moment you step foot in India is the driving culture. The honking horns, the utter disregard for pedestrians, probably a cow is given higher regard than you are. The lanes, they're just there to keep the roads looking pretty. No one follows it, speed limit is just a number. Trust me, the driving culture is way better here in America. <laughs> and the biggest difference between America and India, and the one that's been on your mind since the beginning of this video is... Marriage. The thing is, there are a lot of aspects to marriage, one of them being arranged marriage. Now arranged marriages aren't like you're forced to marry a stranger. You get it's complete actually, freedom actually. And it's very similar to an American dating app. Yeah, it's no pressure. Plus, if I'm not able to find a girl, my parents are gonna find one for me. Isn't that a good deal? I think they have pretty good taste. Yeah. 
the next one of the other differences the number of guests here in America what do you have like 50 guests I think an average American wedding would be like 150 guests yeah we probably have 500 probably there will be a, an elephant and a horse in the mix as well that is quite more exciting than an American wedding though yeah it is pretty extraordinary of course, that was just scratching the surface between the differences of our amazing countries. So comment below and tell us what your biggest differences are between America and India. Don't forget to like and subscribe and catch us next time. See you soon.